So I get this question asked almost five times a day, and that is, can you use acoustic foam or acoustic panels to soundproof a wall? So basically, is an acoustic foam, is it a good sound blocker? Does it block sound? And the answer to that is not usually. The, there's only basically one way that an acoustic foam actually helps in soundproofing, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, but really, Acoustic foam is not a sound blocker. It is a sound absorber. And the difference from a sound blocker and a sound absorber is a sound blocker usually is made with dense, heavy material. You're adding material to a wall. You're adding a thicker window to soundproof the window or to soundproof the wall. And that is how it actually blocks the sound. Now, this is made of a material where the sound wave actually goes through this and it absorbs inside to decrease the amount of echo in a room. But it doesn't really help in terms of soundproofing because I get this question is if I fill the wall up with acoustic foam, is it actually going to stop noise from going through? And the answer to that is no, it is not. It is more of a sound absorber. The only time that it's actually going to decrease the amount of decibels inside the room is if you have a room that has a lot of echo. So if you have a lot of echo inside the room, of course, by adding some acoustic foams and better yet, adding some acoustic panels inside the room will help to reduce the echo and in turn will help decrease the amount of decibels that is transferring outside the room. But it's not going to make a huge difference. It's not going to make a noticeable difference for the people on the other side of the wall. They might hear the echo a little bit less, but the amount of noise that, let's say, your home entertainment sy system is making, it's not going to make that much of a difference, especially even for bass. Now, you can build acoustic panels yourself, and they are a lot less expensive than buying the these ones. These ones are about $100 to $150 each. This, you can make it for a fraction of the price by watching the video right up there. It is quite simple to make. You only need a few material and it's about a tenth of the price. Now, another question that I get asked is, what if I fill the wall with acoustic panels? I don't have a large wall, so if I build a bunch of acoustic panels and completely fill the wall, is that going to make a difference? And the answer to that is not really, because you'd have to completely fill the wall, have everything airtight, and the, the material inside an acoustic panel, again, is not made to block sound. It's made to absorb the sound wave. and to decrease the echo, essentially making the noise, the sound inside the room where the acoustic panels or foam are in sound better. So another question is that I got asked a few weeks ago is what if I add some mass loaded vinyl behind the acoustic panel? Is that going to make a difference? Now, if you don't really know what mass loaded vinyl is, our video right up here will explain everything you need to know about mass loaded vinyl. Now, mass loaded vinyl works very well in soundproofing. It is a very dense, heavy, rubber like material, and it does a good job by soundproofing. Usually, you would add them between two layers of drywall to help absorb and block some of the sound going through the wall. However, Usually when you add acoustic panels on your wall, you're not filling the wall up with acoustic panels. You're only putting them in certain areas to make the room sound better. So even if you have some mass loaded vinyl behind the acoustic panels, the wall is not completely sealed and it's not going to do anything to decrease the noise. And also mass loaded vinyl is expensive and it's just not going to work if you're looking to add a little bit of it behind acoustic panels or acoustic foams to soundproof the room. And it's just not going to work because these types of material, as I said, are for sound deadening. Now, another question I get asked also is, 
What if I use egg crates instead of acoustic foam? I can just save all of my egg crates and basically put them on the wall and essentially make the room sound better for free, even though it doesn't look that good. Video right up here will show you, well, I did do a sound test in a washroom where there's a lot of echo and you'll be able to hear if there is a lot of, well, if there's a lot of difference between acoustic foam, acoustic panels, and the egg crates. The one thing people don't realize is, okay, if you do save the egg crates, you are saving money, but if you go out and actually buy egg crates, they're about almost the same price as acoustic foam. They're not cheap, which I was actually surprised about that. But by watching that video, you'll have that question answered and you'll actually hear what is the difference between egg crates and acoustic foam. So make sure to go watch it. Now, if you are looking to actually decrease the amount of echo inside the room, you can use acoustic foam. This is your cheapest route to basically get rid of your echo. Now, you can get a pack of 48 of these for about $40. So with 48, you can add them around the room to make it sound better. However, you'll have to add a lot more acoustic foam than you would have to add acoustic panels. But as I said, acoustic panels are a lot more expensive than acoustic foams. And if you just have a small room to, to basically treat to, let's say, do podcast or just something to make the room sound better, then using acoustic foam actually is a good way to go. Now, now another thing that you can use to absorb sound is sound clouds. Now, these things are a little bit more expensive. They will work, however, if you have really tall ceilings. And the reason why they are expensive is because they actually look really good and it just makes the room look better, more sophisticated and more modern. You can use hanging acoustic panels, but you'd have to have a really, really high ceilings. And that's what they used to use, just acoustic panels on top of the ceilings, but it just doesn't look as good as acoustic clouds. Also, just having very plush furniture inside a room will make it sound better. It will help decrease the noise add a area rug on the floor, something again that's plush, it will absorb some of the sound. Basically by eliminating as many flat, hard surfaces that you can inside the room will help decrease the amount of decibels coming out of the room by decreasing the echo. So it's just that frequency that is decreased. As I said, if you add acoustic foam in on the wall just to basically in hopes of blocking noise you will be very disappointed with the results because it just does not work that way as i said it's for sound absorption and not sound blocking so hopefully you learned something in this video if you have any questions on anything regarding soundproofing sound absorption or Anything in between, leave it in the comment section below and I'll answer it in one of the upcoming videos if I don't answer it right there. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.